Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the December monthly favorites. This is the end of 2022 and my last monthly favorites of the year. I started this series, if I'm not wrong, this year. I actually can't even remember anymore, but I guess this means that it's the end of year one of this series. So anyway, let's just get right into it. Number one, I'm actually wearing them, so I thought I would just start off with these ones. They're these Dior earrings. Why did I say that? Dior. Dior earrings. I got these ones in Paris. I actually feature them in my Dior haul from my Paris items when I did that one a couple of weeks ago. So you can also watch that if you want to see everything else that I got. Some like skincare, makeup, sunglasses, things like that. But anyway, I'm obsessed with these earrings. I've been wearing them pretty much almost daily. They're just so delicate, so nice. I love them. I get so many compliments when I wear them. People love them. I love them too. So I don't know what else to say other than they're really nice. I have super sensitive ears, super sensitive skin, and these do not irritate me at all. So I am a huge fan of them. Highly recommend them. I actually already have like a bunch of other Dior earrings on my wish list because I'm really liking these so much that I'm like looking around the website for some other ones and I found so many other beautiful ones that I'm like, okay, just adding them to a wish list for the future. But anyway, highly recommend these. So gorgeous, I love them. Let's just get all the Dior items straight done out of the way. So another item, my monthly favorite is this Dior Lip Glow Oil. You can see it right here. This one is in the Rosewood. So they come in different colors. They have like the completely clear one. They have some like pinkish ones. This one is more reddish. Though honestly, when I apply it, I don't feel like I see any sort of coloring or anything. I just think it's really nice when I pair it up with my Rouge Dior 100, which is the 100 or like the nude velvet 100. But anyway, I'm gonna apply this one so that you see it. and. Honestly, I just feel like it gives me like this beautiful glowy lips. I mean, it is a lip glow oil. I do agree with the name. Anyway, I think you can... I don't know how I'm talking while doing this at the same time. I think you can see it there. It's just like a nice little glowy look. So I'm a big fan of it. And you can take it with you everywhere you go because it's so tiny and cute. So I'm a big fan of this one. I will say, however, one thing that is like a big deal for me is when like the lip like the lip glosses make it all super sticky with your hair. So if it is windy, your hair will stick to your lips. I will say that it is definitely a sticky one, but I like it. I feel like I like the effect that it gives me. So I will deal with it. My first time trying this actually was when I went to the Dior spa in the Cheval Blanc in Paris and she actually applied this one at the end of the treatment and I was since then I was like oh my god I love this one I need to get it and so when they came out with the Dior gift sets for the holidays this one was actually included in one with the Dior lipstick that I use and so I was like Chris I want this for Christmas and so Chris Kringle aka my husband not actually Chris Kringle but you know we're gonna go with it delivered and I got this one and I've been obsessed ever since and my last favorite Dior product of the month is this Dior prestige makeup remover this is an oil-based cleanser and you can see it right here it's actually pretty big so there's definitely quite a bit of product in here and it's pretty nice I mean typical Dior it also comes with this beautiful applicator or like scoop for you know to scoop it out so that you can apply it I don't know if the right term is applicator but anyway really nice it also says Dior and this one is part of a Dior Prestige skincare line so it has a lovely scent that I'm obsessed with in the Dior Prestige skincare line you can see right there how the balm looks and then once you take it out you basically just like apply it all over your face to remove makeup and then you just wash it off just like literally add water and you'll like start removing everything with water once you've combined it and then after that I move on to a gel cleanser so I use this one as part of my nighttime skincare routine but I've been obsessed it's also been really good at removing makeup anyway moving on I've got this aloe glow system magnesium reset spray you can see it right here I actually got this when I attended an aloe event for Art Basel. They did like a yoga event and so they also gifted people a bag full of goodies including this one and I've been obsessed with this. I've actually been applying it every night around like my neck and shoulders. I don't know why I like said neck and I pointed at my shoulders. Anyway, like neck and shoulders. And it's been great because it's super helpful for just like soothing the muscles. I literally apply some of it, like I spray some of it and then I just like massage a little bit in my, like on my neck and my shoulders because that's where I carry all my tension. And then I just take some deep breaths because it smells so soothing and relaxing and I go to sleep and it's pretty calming, pretty nice. I've been a fan. I do love magnesium. I do take it sometimes at night to help me fall asleep and it's been pretty good. So I do believe in its power and I think that it's great in a product like this one. And there's actually, if you have the Aloe Moves app, there's a series that Bianca, a Pilates instructor, did where she did like a, basically like a self-care week and it was all like Pilates classes combined with tips that she has for self-care, like gua sha ritual 
cool and other stuff she had one at night that was like very soothing and relaxing and she uses this product to like just really massage and release some tension and so i actually have been dying to try that one i haven't done it yet because i go to sleep so tired that i'm like i don't have time for anything i need to start making time for that but anyway she does use this one so i'm gonna have to give it that a shot but other than that i've been using this one every night and it's been so good anyway last but not least i got these prada sunglasses and i've been eyeing these for so long and i kept saying no i don't need them i don't need them but i was like they're so different from everything that i have that i was like screw it i'm just gonna get them one day so anyway i got them this like cover is super nice so you just literally open it if i can do that open them and here are the sunglasses so they're definitely different from any other pair of sunglasses that i have they're i would say more of that 90s look which I'm not so much used to. Like I've been used to so many like big sunglasses for so long now that I didn't know how I would feel about these ones, but I'm actually really digging them. I, uh, for the first time that I tried them on, I was with Chris and he was like, I don't know, they're like different. They, they have like this chunky side and he was like not really loving this chunky side. That's where it says Prada. And I mean, it does have like that chunky design and he just wasn't really loving it, but I think it grew on him because I kept showing him the sunglasses so many times that I don't even know if at the end he did like them or not, or he just said yes because he was tired of me showing them to him every single time bottom line is i couldn't get over these sunglasses i couldn't stop thinking about them so i said just get them and so i got them and now i have these sunglasses and i'm a big fan of them actually i really like them i feel like they have a little bit more of that sporty vibe so you know like they're good for those days where i'm not wearing something super fancy or just want to be more casual i feel like that's when it works okay well those are my monthly favorites for december 2022 the last month of the year the last day of the year today and i'm just really grateful for you guys tuning into my channel anytime i post any of the videos that i have i'm really really appreciative when i started this youtube channel i never knew what was going to come out of it and so like just seeing the growth month over month day after day and everything it's just been like so exciting and i can't wait to keep creating content in 2023 so i'll bring back these monthly favorites because i love showcasing my favorite products of the month it's just a great opportunity to really highlight the products that i genuinely do use and love and maybe inspiring you to try them as well anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed these products if you have any of them or if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section if you like this video please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time